Hello my little crafty monsters, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous! So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making these adorable little shaker cards. How cute are these, right? To send them out to your loved ones, to your co-workers, to your sisters, or to use them as invites. If you're going to have a Halloween party, this is definitely, definitely a cute, cute idea for an invitation, right? Right. They're a little tedious because they have a few steps just to make these little bad boys. But I can assure you that once you get the ball rolling and once you make them, you're going to be so satisfied and so happy that you did do them that you're probably going to make more than two. So, what did we use on here? We used the little rings that we used, that we purchased from the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. Look at the video about my under a dollar haul. You'll see where I purchased these. The ribbon, this is the ribbon that we used. And I purchased this in downtown LA because I live in downtown LA. And I go to a lot of those little fabric stores and a lot of those little craft stores and stuff like that. I purchased this one at a craft store in downtown LA. And everything else, I bought it at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and Joann's. So there'll be links on all of the merchandise that we use on here onto this card. And also too, the sequence. The sequence was purchased in downtown LA too. So, without wasting any more time, my little crafty monsters, let's get down to the desk and start crafting and make these little bad boys. See you in a bit. Hola, my little crafty monsters. So right here I use two circles, nesting circles and I'm gonna cut out some foam rings out of this foam paper or Fun foam, whatever it's called. And um, then you're gonna glue these together and you're gonna wanna glue these together now so that they have time to glue. There's three rings per card. Glue them together and then start off with the next steps so that they have time to, to um, dry. So right here we're just gonna have the card bases. Now if you guys need instructions on how to make card bases and card mats, there's gonna be a link on the bottom to a tutorial for that. And this is the part where you're going to want to ink the edges because once you, once you glue these down, you're not going to be able to do it later. So this is the part where you do that if you plan on inking the edges. Now this is optional. You guys don't have to, but I just like to ink everything. <laughs> now, right here I'm gluing them together, but this step you want to just exclude this part. You can do the first and second mat, but just don't glue these mats down to the card base. Um, because what I was doing was, I don't know, my little brain was thinking of something else. But anyway, we're going to be putting a ribbon around that card mat and then we're going to glue them down to the card base. So skip this part. Later on in the video, you're going to notice that I totally changed that. Um, now that those rings are dry, we're going to take off the middle ring and we're going to just use the outer one to cut the acetate, which is that clear plastic which you could purchase online, you could purchase on eBay, Amazon, or at any specialty paper store. This one I purchased it at Hobby Lobby and um, they had it in the paper scrapping section. So you'll find it there and it's not called acetate, it's basically called something else. So you're just gonna cut out as many windows as you possibly need for as many cards as you're making and um, you want to do the outer larger circle so that it goes over your rings you you guys will see once we get that going <laughs> so I really hope you guys tried these cards I know that 
shaker cards sometimes look very intimidating to people, but um, I believe that once you start making them and you see how easy they are and how satisfying they are once you've made them, that um, you guys will start making shaker everything. <laughs> um, so right here we're just already done cutting the windows and we're going to start kind of putting these little bad boys together but this is the part where I'm going to realize that the ribbon needs to be put on here <laughs> so we went and we got the ribbon that we're going to use you could use any ribbon you'd like I just like using this see-through-ish kind of sheer ribbon and then we have those car mats that I had to redo and we're going to tie the little ribbon on there. Now I'm not the best bow tire so I just do the one tails like that and then I cut them in an angle. That's my version of a bow. I think they still look pretty. And then once that is done then I'm going to glue the ring on here and then we're going to glue that onto the actual card base before we put the whole thing together. Give that some time to dry. And move on to the next one. The next one, I mean, you could alternate ribbons. You can use so many different types. I mean, you guys get creative. Like, I want to see what you guys come up with. So right here, I'm just cutting, just to make them look a little bit more cuter, so to say. <laughs> These are so easy, guys. These are so easy. And so nice when you look at them. And then, you know, you're able to shake them and see all the sequins inside. And I mean, people just love them. People love to receive these. So now all you're gonna do is just, sorry about that. You're just going to um, glue the ring on. And then after that, we will start to basically put the whole card together. Now I know it looks like there's um, a lot of wet glue in the inside and that's because there is. <laughs> we are going to get the blow dryer and we're gonna hit that in there just so that we, um, we dry that up a little bit before we put the sequence in there because you definitely don't want to put the sequence inside there. Not well, at least not until that's completely dry. So now here, these are some sequins that I got from my friend in Hawaii. Um, she sent me this on her happy mail that she sent me a flip tags. They were so adorable. So I'm going to use those in my little shaker cards, along with a bunch of other color sequences that I purchased at downtown. Um, we are going to be having a little downtown tour, the best DNI coming up. So you guys stay tuned for that video. Now, right here, you guys could put as much as little or any type of sequences that you guys want. This is just the mix that I did myself but you guys could mix whatever colors I just did a lot of Halloween colors threw in these little pumpkins and then once you guys have everything in there then carefully put glue around the rim and then we are going to place that um, acetate circle that we cut right here I ran out of glue so I'm gonna have to go and get another Tombow really quick from my little store on the wall that people say. <laughs> um, so we'll just put that little acetate over and let that dry. And then let me go grab a glue. Sorry, I'm gonna go get glue. <laughs> so here's the Tombow. And then we cut another circle, I forgot to tell you guys, out of regular black construction paper. This we're gonna glue on top just to hide any of those glues. 
So make sure you guys, when you're cutting out the foam rings, make sure you cut out um, one out of construction paper that are, is gonna basically go on top of everything. And right here, I'm just basically putting glue onto the spider web. I like to use Tombow because Tombow tends to stick onto um, non-coarse surfaces like acetate and anything that's kind of smooth and you want it to really hold together, Tombow is the one for that. And um, Tombow has always been the one when I make shaker anything. <laughs> and then when I'm using construction paper, I just use my Eileen's because Eileen's is my go-to for that. So this is just repetitive. See how easy it is, guys? It's not really that hard. It's just really you know, prepping everything together and the outcome of these cards are so fancy, but yet so beautiful. And then your final touch with the hot glue, we're gonna glue these on just so that they're in place. Now you could glue these wherever you want. I just wanted them right in front. And I'm just holding it down till it sets. Right here too, you guys could glue anything you want on the front. If you guys have gems, if you guys have other Halloween stuff, it doesn't have to be the spider. You guys get creative. I want to see what you guys come up with. Welcome back my little crafty monsters and that's exactly how easy it is to make these little bad boys now I know there was a lot of steps, but it really really was not that hard to make these guys now If you really 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 want to get creative you guys could just throw your own little flare in there You know what I'm saying throw your own little flare in there make these little bad boys Put them on our Facebook and show us what you got show us the goods boo-boo and also, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend, press that little like button and also that little bell icon for the notification so that you get notified every time we upload a video because I know you don't want to miss out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. And that was it for our Halloween card series. But stay tuned guys because you know I'm going to continue making these Halloween videos all the rest of the middle of October. After the middle of October, we're going to go ahead and start our Christmas videos and we're going to be making our Christmas cards, our Christmas wreath, and all of that good stuff. Also, another thing is we're going to be making a wreath, surprise wreath for the bestie because her and I have a swap. There's Matthias back there. He wanted to get involved <laughs> so the bestie and I are going to do a swap for a fall um, wreath so if you guys want to check that out stay tuned guys because I'm gonna be doing that until next time my little crafty monsters again don't forget to subscribe hit that like button little notification tell a friend share this video and goodbye my little crafty monsters <laughs>